Hello, my name is David Alonso. I am Mauricio Rubio. I am Jorge Figueroa. And today we're going to talk about polynomial functions. What? Polynomial functions are common and simple mathematical functions that consist of one or more terms or variables with whole number exponents. Depending on their constants and variables, they can be classified as the following. Constant, where its degree is 0. Linear, when its degree is 1. Quadratic, when its degree is 2. Cubic, when its degree is 3. And quartic, when its degree is 4. There are much more complex polynomial functions, depending on their degree, but we are going to focus just on these five functions. To understand polynomial functions, we first need to understand how the standard form is divided. So, the leading coefficient is going to be the number which is followed by the highest exponent. So this term, 5x to the third, is the highest term in this polynomial function. So, this will be the leading coefficient and overall the leading term. The degree of this polynomial is going to be 3, since it's the highest exponent. And from that, we can say that the highest exponent of any polynomial function is going to be the degree. The local maximum and local minimum are the highest and lowest points of the polynomial function. We can see here that the local maximum is the highest point that occurs in a curve, and the local minimum is the lowest point that occurs in a curve. To understand the polynomial function's behavior, we first need to understand how the right and left term of these uh, functions will move. If the sign of the leading coefficient is positive, the arm of the right arm of the function will go up. And if the sign of the leading coefficient is negative, the right arm will go down. The behavior of the left arm follows the behavior of the right arm. If the degree is odd, meaning if the exponent is odd, it's going to do the opposite of the right arm. But if the degree is even, it will do the same as the right arm. So we first need to uh, understand how the right uh, arm moves to then, uh, to then solve how the left arm moves. Here we can see examples of what we just saw. In this polynomial function, can see that the leading term is positive but it has an odd degree which means that the right arm goes up and the left arm goes down. In this polynomial function we can see that since the leading term is negative but it has an odd degree the right arm the left arm goes up and the right arm goes down. Here in this polynomial function we can see that it has an even degree and a leading term which means that both arms will go up in this polynomial function we can see that it has a negative leading term and an even degree which means both arms go down since we can see that these terms are even degree Following the rule of the left arm, we can see that since it does the same as the right arm, they will follow the same pattern, up, up, or down, down. In this case, since they have an odd degree, we know for certain that the arrows will move in opposite directions. So what just uh, matters here is if the leading term is positive or negative to decide which arm will go up and which will go down. Since this term is positive, this arm goes down, up. And since this is negative, the arm goes up and down. So we can see how the difference in uh, the degrees and term affects how the polynomial functions will move. Okay, first of all, we will uh, start with an example. This is the example, is x and then uh, in parentheses 3x minus 2 then we end the parentheses then we start again x plus 3 um, first of all we need to understand that they are asking for leading term left arm as well as right arm zeros y-intercept domain range and to graph 
this polynomial function. Just understand that zeros is the same as x intercept. Then, uh, to start, if we simplify this, the leading term will be 3x squared. And uh, this, obviously, will be the degree. And the left arm, since it is 3x, well, first of all, we'll start with the right arm. The right arm will go up since the sign of the leading term is positive and since as my partner Rubio said uh, with the rules this the left arm will the number is odd so it will be the other thing in the right so it will go down um, then we will uh, start with the zeros and in here the good thing about this problem is that it is our, it gives you the problem already factored. So we will give this that the problem already gives us and we will simplify. For example, in here, it will be like this. And here, we'll give this. And here, zeros, or as I already told you, the x-intercepts will be two-thirds, just remember to put the, the zero as a coordinate, then three, and zero. Um, the way intercept, we, as you should already know, we get it by uh, getting out x, since in here in the whole problem, there is no number without x, The domain, as in every parabola, will go like this. And the range, taking all the information that we have, we should know or we should understand that uh, we don't have a, a specific uh, range. We could make one or put the range we want. In this case, I will put an undefinite range. Now, is the time of the more difficult thing or the thing that difficult the most to a lot of people that is graphing. In here we need to take all the information we have in here to graph. The important thing about graphing is that you need to understand how the peaks go and if the right arm is up or down or the left arm is up or down. That is the more difficult thing and, under and to understand all the rules. So in here we will start by uh, putting the numbers which are minus 1, minus 2, Minus three, minus four, minus five, then one, two, three, four, five. Same here. And same here. Um, in here with the information we have, we understand that the x intercepts are negative three. And this one that is a fraction is two thirds, it will be in here. Like it's an approximate. Then zero. And with the information we have, we understand that the parabola goes like this. And this will be the graph. And as I have already told you, you can we don't have a specific uh, peaks for here. We, you can put, for example, that in here as a range you can put uh, for example I know something like this or as we already put it like this it wouldn't have a specific but you can uh, invent one number or put one number as uh, of your preference and that will be okay 